battery has just degraded while charging. We're at 99.4% and we've got a similar situation again now. So the battery seems to be fully charged but it's still pushing 2.7 kilowatt into the battery. Have a look at this, 2.7 kilowatt. I just uh, double check with the sun off. Yep, 2.7 kilowatt. But the dog shows us the battery is 99.4% full. And we lost another 0 0.1 amp hour. So this is the um, second degradation we experience within this test to not fully charge the car. We are at 100% at the moment and it is still pumping two and a half kilowatt into the battery. So it, it has not slowed down before it reaches 100%. So this again proves the software is not able to determine the true state of charge of the battery. Not only the state of health has dropped, but also the state of charge is not correct. If the battery would have 100% already, we wouldn't have 2.5 kilowatt anymore. I don't know what is going on with this software, but it's not working. By the way, welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV, sunny, hot Australia. Expecting 35 again today. 4.104 volts is the maximum voltage we have at the moment. And we are at 102%. Car still charging at 4.1.4 uh, kilowatts. And we are now at 103.4% state of charge almost 37 ampere hours still charging with 870 watts see all this doesn't make sense to me at all if if the software can recognize it can charge 37.1 ampere hours into the battery why is it downgrading the battery capacity at the same time that is totally stupid it, it looks like it's not learning it's not learning it it should see oh i can at 37.1 percent in there and still have 4.1 volts so i'm not exceeding any parameters any thresholds and i can still charge so it actually actually upgrade the battery capacity but it went just down in the same session how does that work so charging has just turned off and this is our end result 37.2 ampere hours into the battery but as i said many times degraded at the same time the capacity the state of health of the battery how good is this software i've got increased heartbeat now really again this is just so annoying what happens here with the car i mean the software clearly recognizes there is so much capacity in the battery and at the same time in the same charging session it degrades the battery for another 0.3 percent So we are heading off to Ipswich now doing our grocery shopping for the next week and I'll take you with me just in case something interesting happens. Started the journey with 37.2 ampere hours but the dog showed me the degradation of the battery. Turned off the Avis system. I cannot stand it. Drafted behind a truck on the highway which saved me 30% energy. Bought a one meter long pipe in the hardware store. Unlocked the car. Bought 12 liters of German beer. Ooh, that's expensive. Yes, of course, we have Target here in Australia. Couldn't find what we were looking for. Found an extendable cat bed. Didn't buy it though. Bought some organic plums on special and paid them on card. Unlocked the car, started the car, started live data, went to Woolies, did some more grocery shopping, wanted to buy some dog food. Nah, it's not on special. Well, they will miss out. Closed the boot, got in the car, charged my phone, started live data, pressed the eco button, Returned the trolley, as everyone should. Pressed power, clicked on OK. Finally arrived home, pressed power to turn off the car. Stopped live data. Cleaned the pool. So guys, and with today I will not continue the test with not charging the car to 100%. This has clearly totally failed for me. I had two degradations within the six days of the test one on Tuesday and one this morning on Saturday. 
so obviously it has so obviously it has no benefit for me to not charge the car to 100%. To my battery it has not made any difference at all and there was no benefit from doing that apart from getting a headache and thinking about when to stop the charging. Okay, and also with the degradation loss this morning again, which was degradation number 8. I will tell you a little bit more about this degradation. <laughs> right after I stopped sneezing. So I picked up the car 18 days ago with a brand new battery. Since then I have traveled 760 kilometers which is about 472 miles. The battery has degraded eight times in this time span. 0 0.1 ampere hour each. I did not have any 0.5 ampere hour loss yet, but still I find this insane that the battery degrades eight times in 18 days. And guys, people still want to tell me it's the battery. The battery is the problem, not the software. Well, I'll show you something on the computer. Okay, here's a screenshot of my current degradation curve I took from the PHEV watchdog just right now. You can see how almost vertical this degradation is in the graph. And now let me show you the... So, and here we've got the old degradation curve. This is with the same old battery after they did the software reset. So nothing has changed on the hardware, just the software has been reset. I put the two curves next to each other. You can see on the left hand side is the old degradation curve. This is the old battery, but just reset the software and the one on the right hand side is the new battery with a freshly reset software. The curves are looking identical. So for me it looks like the software is following a strict algorithm, a strict calculation how to handle a new battery after a reset. And for me it looks like the software is actually not looking after the battery, it follows just the algorithm. But uh, clearly you can see the graph on the left is with the old hardware and the graph on the right is with the new hardware and there's pretty much no difference. So it's definitely 100% not the hardware. Okay guys, so far this little adventure today, our weekly shopping tour and well, the test results of the don't charge your car to 100%. Well, I need the range and that's why I bought the car to be the most efficient on my commute to be the most efficient on any other trip and I need the full capacity of the battery. I cannot charge only to 80%. It is a lot of hassle to do that. Probably you're getting used to it after a while and you know when to start charging and when to stop charging and all this kind of stuff, you know. You probably figure it out after a while. But this is clearly not what the car is designed for. As I said in my video yesterday, it's a plug and forget car. You plug it in and you go away. You come back and you drive and then afterwards you plug in again. So you don't need to worry about state of charge and what percentage the battery status is and all this kind of stuff. That's why you have only a rough battery gauge in the dashboard and this is all the indication you get apart from the gasometer. So at the moment I'm fairly disappointed with the whole battery situation once again disappointed with the battery degradation situation and the non-communication with Mitsubishi. I haven't heard back for a week now from, from them and don't know what the go is. But I have also heard back from the guy who got his car back yesterday. He lost already 0.8% of battery capacity from 100% down to 99.2% so obviously he had a couple of steps in between probably two since yesterday so so every single car seems to follow this curve behavior we've just seen apart from the very first one which still sticks to 40 ampere hours and hasn't moved yet and again even for this car we haven't heard back from Mitsubishi what the go is why this is happening if they have information from the dealership now so who knows who knows guys Okay, anyways, um, I leave this all with you as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us in the next video tomorrow for the range test. Okay guys, see you then, bye bye.